Have you heard about virtual reality goggles? You can experience, feel, and explore the world at your home. That is amazing. But this is actually one of many technological developments that the world is witnessing nowadays. There are many more inventions. Interestingly, one of the reason behind all these developments is the landmark invention of the transistor, which is a key component in all modern electronics. Transistors are made of semiconducting materials. Thanks to semiconducting materials for this technological revolution. But what are semiconductors? And what else can be achieved using semiconducting materials? Well, I am not gonna tell you everything about semiconductors, however, I am going to tell you about quantum dots. If you have a piece of semiconducting material at the size of a coin, and you decided to smash it with super powerful hammer into very tiny pieces, such that each piece is of order of few nanometer, then you have quantum dots. Quantum dots are very tiny particles made of semiconducting materials. They are small to see by our eyes, but have very powerful properties. In this video, we are going to explain how to make these small dots, and some of their application. In the early 1980s, pioneers began to work on synthesizing metallic quantum dots. In fact, there are many ways to synthesize quantum dots. I am going to tell you about one of the most widely used methods to synthesize quantum dots, which is organometallic method. This method is used to make metal quantum dots. Organometallic chemistry is the study of chemical compounds containing at least one bond between a carbon atom of an organic compound and the metal. Actually the whole process contains three main parameters, precursor material, organic solvents with high boiling point, and long alkyl chain, and the organic surfactant. Let's talk about the role of each one of these components. Metal precursor is leading compound to start the reaction. It is the source of metal ions, the metal, that we want it to be on the nanoscale. The surfactant is the substance that can protect quantum dots and prevents their aggregation. The organic solvent is the medium where the precursor dissociate so that the reaction will happen and the quantum dots will form. Let's talk about a real example. Let's talk about synthesis of cadmium quantum dots. Firstly surfactant is placed in organic solvent, trioctyl phosphine oxide. The temperature should be between 150 and 350 degrees Celsius. Then we start to inject the precursor. The added surfactant produces cadmium ions into cadmium atoms. As we continue to add the precursor, the concentration of atoms increases in the solution until the solution is saturated with cadmium atoms. At this point, we start to lower the temperature. While the solution is cooling down, the nucleation starts and the quantum dots are formed. In order to obtain certain morphology for the quantum dots, we can optimize certain factors such as the type of solvent, type of surfactant, and the source of precursor. In addition, the ratio between solvent, surfactant, and precursor is critical to the morphology of formed quantum dots. Quantum dots have very unique optical properties due to electron confinement. By changing particle sizes, the emitted color of the particles changes. This picture represents solutions of the same material, but with different particle sizes. The color of light they produce is much richer than other sources. Recently, they are used to make quantum dot TVs. These TVs use these dots to produce colors which are more bright and of high quality. In addition, you get 64 times color variation than conventional TV. In the near future, it is expected that quantum dots will be put on flexible screens to make foldable TVs and mobile phones. Researchers are trying nowadays to use quantum dots to make more efficient solar cells. Quantum dots may one day save your life. Medical imaging has begun to use quantum dots in diagnosis and biological research. They can be used to label biological molecules so that we can study their movements and interactions with other molecules. They are brighter than many organic dyes and fluorescent molecules used before.